Ladies, are you experiencing a buildup of uncontrolled hysteria in your body? Do you want to get rid of that hysteria? Yes, you do. That's why the Provincial Incandescent Fittings Company has their Pifco Vibratory Massage Device. Simply turn it on and use its strong vibrations to work that hysteria down through your body until it comes out betwixt your legs and relieves you of all your traumatic experiences. Well... That's how they pretty much sold it in the past. Uh, this is a Pifco massage unit made in England. Uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, let's start with some electrical tests on this. Now, I believe this may be a white version of Bakelite, not sure. And it is probably from about the 1950s, so probably a bit beyond the Hysteria era. So I'm going to plug this in, and then I shall... Um, Turn the lighting uh, to a more appropriate setting so you can actually see the display. One moment, please. That's better. So the current voltage is 247 volts. If I turn this on, it uh, uses approximately 15.6 watts. Power factor is a miserable 0.285, but that's because it is a purely inductive load. Now, it does say 10 watts as a rating, but it's also got this knob on the back that can be adjusted. And it does have a small effect on the power. Um, I think it's just as it restricts the movement, it actually the power goes up slightly, as you'd expect in an inductor. Okie dokie. Right, uh, I shall turn this off, bring the light back, and we can open it up. So, watch your eyes, the light is coming back. And the light is back. So, I shall take off the vibrator attachment. It comes with various rubbery cups for the front. Uh, these were in an era when they were finally getting used to the fact that, yes, these things were used for pleasure, as well as uh, health purposes. Let me find a suitable screwdriver. It's flat blade screws. And uh, I think, is it, it's flat blade screws either side. I don't even know if I need to take both out. We'll find out in due course. The history of that. Uh, Vibratory massage devices is interesting. In the Victorian era, it was one of the first electrical appliances, was vibratory health devices for obvious reasons. Oh, the nut has just fallen off the back. Um, and then they came into disrepute because they were actually featured in a pornographic film. And suddenly everybody was like, oh no, we didn't know they were used for that. Yes, you did, you perverts. Anyway, let's just lift this up. Oh, very simple construction. It's literally, uh, it, it technically speaking, it is in a way a solenoid, but hold on. What is this actually? All this is doing is just increasing the, uh, as you tighten this up, all it's doing is just compressing that spring. Let me zoom down in this. It's not really a lot to see in here. There's the switch. There's the incoming flex with red and black wires. Bit of a... Uh, the fabric, the cloth, rubberized uh, cloth tape for the insulation, and then this solenoid. Let's take the solenoid out completely. And we'll see what we can find inside. Something just let rip. That's okay. Taking mine apart so you don't need to take yours apart. Although, having said that, it's not that complicated, I don't think. And it looks as though it'll go back together again. Oh, that is a very traditional construction. I'm not sure what this crumbly bakelite is from. Oh, it's from here, I think. Yeah, I should have actually taken... So, if you have one of these, very carefully, I'd wind it out to get the maximum pressure off it. And then... Ew, that's sticky. I hope it's just grease. Uh, and then possibly supporting it, pushing it in so it's not putting pressure against the plastic. Lift it up if you need to take this out, because otherwise it may actually crack the plastic. That's all right. I've damaged mine slightly, but you won't need to damage yours, because now we know. So what's in here? Another bit of the plastic. Very odd. What's, why is this like that? Why is it screwed at an angle? Is there a reason for this? No. Oh, it's because so it's clamped either side. It's the reason it's diagonal is because they've clamped either side of this assembly that also uh, possibly holds all the laminations together. Let's make a loud rattly noises. Hold on, wait till I loosen this little grip here. Ooh, the switch itself is interesting. Made in England, two hundred fifty volts, 
hold on, is that two amps? Two amps. 250 volts, two amps. There we go. A vintage switch. Ugh. Yes. Any secretions inside this, I do hope not. Uh, but that's more or less it. There's not really much to say. We've got this spring plate at the back here. And uh, the adjustable tensioner simply varied the tension on that and when it was fully out at its maximum vibration it was just allowed to have the maximum excursion backwards and forwards like this and it does appear to be almost like a transformer uh, arrangement but I suppose really this is a solenoid but it's got these plates here as well which is quite odd that do look as though they're kind of oh they actually turn around as well a bit there I think that's probably how they're supposed to be in normal use but they those plates, they've also got a bit of damping on them. They've got some more of that fabric tape so that if they actually hit the armature, um, they're not going to make too much noise. But ultimately, that's it. It's just a solenoid-ish type device with the spring plates and the little plate at the end here going across either side of this. And, uh, and that's fundamentally it. Uh, springs here and springs here. Very interesting. I think this plate here is supposed to be round that way. Do you think they, by changing the position of that, they can fine-tune the springiness? Uh, that's possibly what that's for. Not sure. But there we have it. Uh, the Pifka Vibratory Massage Device. It's very simple inside. It's fundamentally just a vibrating electromagnet running at mains frequency. No fancy control over the vibrations other than a spring that is used to basically pretension the uh, solenoid assembly and that is ultimately it very interesting well worth taking apart